Hi, I want to show you our lineup of our hooligan rafts. We have four different models. <coughs> we have the XL, which is a three plus. We have the regular, our best seller. We have the so we have the hooligan XL, the regular hooligan, the hooligan two man, are also called the hood raft. And then we have the one and a half man, like the tack style one. Our standard hooligan three man is our best seller. All of these are built to be super light, portable, skinny water stuff. Even this boat right here. All the XLs have these hooks on them now. The regular, this regular has a rear casting brace. Each rear casting brace, MSRP is for around three hundred dollars more. That'd be only these two could have that. All of our boats come completely decked out for the guide package. We sell them all like that now. Which what includes with that is a nice laser cut rear rack that's just standard. Comes integrated handles here. A nice extended motor mount transom here. It has the, the rope integrated into the into the frame of the rack. Handles, really upgraded Cobra oar locks, a nice set of Sawyer oars. set stuff on it, nice cup holders, fly patches, rod storage here, see the nice tubes for rod storage here, seats, high end tempera seats, the rest of these that you'll look at have a really cheap inferior seat, all high end tempera seats, plastic, fish on, quick releases, the other companies have metal cheap ones that'll rust. This adjusts too. You can see there's handles. This is laser cut, so you can move this back and forth. Same with that to adjust the way you like it. Obviously, this comes off very easily. High-end Harkin components. Same stuff the sailboat industry uses for your, your anchor system. And that goes all the way through the system into the back. This model is our new model. It has drain plugs in the forward and in the back. You can see them right here. There's water purposely in this boat. So you had a big rainstorm. You need to get water out of this. You just take your thirsty mate and you pump water. Very easy. You can do it here, up front, in the back. Great any of those. Another thing great about the drain plug, as you see right here, is you can just reach down here and take this out and the water will drain. <clears throat> so that works really good. Your boat will come with this big blue bag. It'll come with a 30 pound anchor that clips onto this double pulley system here. So 30 pound anchors feels like 15 pounds. It'll come with an air pump that fits right back here easily. You want to keep that on, on the river with you to be able to air, air the boats up and down. What we talked about earlier today is when you're airing these up, you want to air them up as much as you possibly can. Usually this doesn't really that accurate. So what we tell you is just to air it up until you're, it's nice and firm. And another thing is you want to be able to burp the tunes a little bit, which means you would let some air out of them. So when it gets warm, it doesn't blow up. So when it's sitting out in the sun, you want to let some of the air out of the tunes just to help protect it. So we're gonna go over some of the dimensions of the fleet of the cast here. And what you gotta remember is these dimensions, you know, the bottom of this is tapered, just like the top. So even though you see 55 inches, 
the rubber's 55 inches wide. That's at its widest point. It's still, like we'll see, it'll fit in the back of the truck. Because at the bottom, it's, it's tampered, so it fits in the back of the truck. This is 161 inches, 161 inches long, which is about 13 and a half feet. We'll show you all the measurements that we write down. And the rubber itself is 145 and a half inches long. This at its widest point is 57 inches at the Orlox. This is 64 and a half inches at the Orlox. Rubber is 175 inches. Our little uh, hood raft here is 115 inches long. Same width. A little bit narrower to get it in, in a truck a little bit easier. That'll be our next thing where I'll show you loading up this our best seller, the two man. It'll fit in the back of a small box truck. But considering how light they are, you know, one guy can drag them around really easy. How durable they are. I mean, it's a raft, so you can beat the crap out of them. One thing about our boats that separate us from the other guys is our floor is much taller and stiffer, which keeps water out if you're going to do a cell fail or our new system here, but mostly what it does is it makes it really stiff. If you see, take my shoes off here, the six inch, which we used to even have four inch floors that flex more, but the six doesn't move it at all. Makes it a really nice fishing platform, real stable when you're, when you're fishing that. It feels like, just like fishing out of a fiberglass boat. Stand up here. You can fish up here really easy too. Everything's real solid. Okay, today we're going to show you how to put your hooligan in the back of a regular size truck. Easy as that, folks. <laughs> 